the other day I was at my office working. Um, this was Saturday and I normally go in and try to bust out a whole bunch of work. I normally can work from morning to night because I have that kind of stamina sometimes when I'm trying to get something done. I'm working on my PhD. I got a company to run, all of that. So me and my husband have this deal. I can go in on a Saturday, work while he's at home with the kids. And then on Sundays, we kind of can go in together, but it's my time to come home and work with the kids. I was there and I was working and I was reading all these articles on truly how to actually balance your life because I even, even myself feel like um, I'm not always truly balanced. And so I was reading all these, you know, great articles about how to balance and I was just continuously thinking about my children and how I had been there pretty much all day and how I just wanted to go home. But the other thought that came to my mind was that, you know, I needed to finish this work. So I worked some more and I worked some more and I just decided that I wanted to see my kids. I wanted to be at home with my children. And so what I did was I packed up my bags I called my husband. I said, hey, I'm coming home. I am going to, um, you know, see the kids before they go to bed. And he was like, fine, I'll make sure that they stay up. And guess what? I did. I went home and I had the most amazing time with my kids before they got ready for bed. And it was great. And it allowed me to kind of think about like, when do you know it's time to quit? For me, you know, balance is not about this whole 50-50 thing. It's not balance at all, right? I don't think the, the term balance is used in the right way. I think that is really making choices and decisions about what you're going to do and what you're going to not do at the time in the moment. Sometimes it just comes down to that. For me, I really wanted to see my kids and that's what I did. So sometimes you're going to have to know when to quit right? You're going to have to know when to quit and when to keep going. Sometimes that's just a feeling inside. Sometimes it's something else. Sometimes you actually can plan it. But my thing was at the end of the day, I was like, okay, I'm not going to actually finish all this work. And so is it worth me staying here all night long, even if, and miss out seeing my kids, even if I'm not going to finish all the work. And for me, the answer was no. So you have to look at it for yourself, but no one to quit. If you are feeling sad or frustrated and you're not making or being productive, it may be time to just stop what you're doing, pack it up and do something different. And then you can come back to that thing later. All right. Take care.